dope. You have your primary and your secondary keywords. Oh, you don't have any of those? Well, what are you doing, dude? Watch my video on how to find them using Google Keyword Planner for free. Oh, you do have them, cool. Then I'm gonna show you how to create some awesome content topics using a free tool from your primary and secondary keywords. Hey, I'm Clint. I make marketing simple and more fun. Watch this video to the end to see all the times that I messed up while creating it. Now, let's ride. The easiest way to find content topics is through Answer the Public. It's free. Go to answerthepublic.com and ignore the creepy guy staring back at you. Select your country and language and then put in one or two of your primary keywords. You do know them, right? Like I'm just saying, you do know your primary and secondary keywords because you actually need to know them to do this because then it's not gonna make sense if you don't. You do know them, okay, cool. Answer the Public scrubs the internet and comes up with a list of long tail keyword phrases in the language that people actually use when searching into, say, a Google search result. Let's type in medicine wheel. First off, it runs questions like, what does a medicine wheel look like? Then comparisons, medicine wheel versus dream catcher and then an alphabetical list of entries. The circular graphs are pretty cool, but they can be kind of hard to look at and can make you feel kind of dizzy. Whoa, 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 everything's spinning, everything's spinning. You can switch to an easier to view layout by clicking on data. It's a button next to the top left corner of the first graph. Oh, that's so much, oh, oh, no. You can also download a CSV of your results for later use or review. Now this is a great way to find topics and even subtopics within topics, all while using your primary and secondary keywords in real customer language. Keep in mind that you only get a certain set limit of searches. And if you're doing the paid version, then you get unlimited searches and you can like compare data. But if you do it right, then you should be able to get a lot of topic titles and a lot of ideas from just the free version. When coming up with topics, start with primary keywords and then branch out to secondary keywords. When you begin to learn how to create high quality content, start out with your greatest hits, your core library, the things that you already know that are essential to talk about in your industry. Talking about my greatest hits, my greatest hits, yeah. It does not matter if you know that there are already 1 million articles on that topic, and here is why. You have unique experiences and examples that you can use. You're a special person. Embrace your weirdness and your uniqueness. You are a special snowflake, just like everyone else. This is the content that you could probably share with your current clients, your email list, and your social media following to add value. Hey, social media, it's my greatest hits. When trying to get new customers, it's super important that you don't forget to add value to your current customers. Your core library will ensure that you take care of your loyal fans first. Hey, loyal fans, it's my greatest hits. This will prevent you from having to repeat yourself over and over too. There are questions that I'm sure your sales team are probably sick of answering one thousand times. Excuse me, sir, but have you tried turning the computer on? Oh, that worked. Great. Creating this content will give your current customers a directory of answers that they can seek out for help by themselves. And this is also going to save you a ton of time. When trying to access the internet, try turning on your computer first. Content marketing takes time. Still waiting on the pancakes. So it's important to do your primary keyword stuff first so that it has a head start in maturing in the Google algorithms. It's gonna take a while, like a hot minute, before anything starts ranking, at least six months, at least. Content marketing is like a fine wine. It gets better with time. Oh, that rhymes. 
Oh, that did too. Oh, it stopped. If you're watching this right now, just know that at the time of creating this, there are 1,790,000 results for this topic at this time. And yet, here you are watching this. After you have created your core library of content around those high competition primary keywords, then branch out and create secondary content. These are items that have lower competition and should be easier to rank for. This is also a chance for you to create content that is more timely and relevant. Is there a new technology in your field that you'd like to give your perspective on? Are there current events that affect your industry that you could write about? For example, what the f is Yeet? True, we want the majority of our content to be evergreen, meaning that it will be relevant for years to come. But creating content around trending topics is a great way to help content get social shares and even gain some backlinks. If you want to see an even deeper insight, check out the link in the description box for our blog post that this video is created for. And in the meantime, here are my terrific failures. My greatest hits is my content greatest hits. Content marketing is like if, nope, not gonna use that accent. Not gonna use that accent. Talking about my greatest hits. When you begin and you learn, talking about my greatest hits for use and review. My greatest hits you can use. You're a special purge. The stuff that is my greatest hits.